Hello YouTube viewers and listeners. Today I'm going to be talking about the pneumatic George by the same people that bring you the famous red-faced Henry cleaner. The George is Henry's big brother and it has a multitude of features and functions that poor little Henry doesn't have. George is classified really as a multi-purpose vacuum cleaner. Um, it's not really a three-in-one, I'd call it more of a five-in-one because it does have five different functions. The first function is it's a dry cleaner, just like Henry, but a little bit bigger, and it doesn't have Henry's um, flex rewind feature. But it performs you know, in a similar way to the Henry and comes with the same cleaning tools you get with the Henry for dry use. It's also a wet pickup cleaner, so you can pick up you know, a minor flood from your washing machine or dishwasher or if you're defrosting the freezer or something like that, it's useful for that. The third function is carpet shampooing and it will shampoo your carpets using a, a pumped jet system and suction and it comes with this nozzle here, that's for doing your carpets. The fourth function is an upholstery shampooer and for that purpose Pneumatic provide you with this very sturdy upholstery tool. This is also extremely good for cleaning your car or caravan or RV um, or smaller areas around your home. And the fifth and final function of George is floor washing. You get this head too, this flip over floor tool. And what you do with that, it's got some quite stiff brushes on one side so when you've got the Henry set up for carpet shampooing, instead of putting carpet cleaning solution in the tank, you put floor cleaning solution. And basically you spray the floor cleaning solution, it comes out of a jet behind this nozzle. So you spray it onto the floor and then agitate the solution. You can scrub it in using these scrubbing brushes. And then when you've loosened all the dirty solution, you simply flip this tool over and you've got these two squeegees here and you just pull the nozzle back over the wet patch and it removes all the dirty water into the recovery tank of George and it leaves your carpets, well, leaves your floors very dry. It doesn't leave your carpets very dry, but I'll come on to that later, but it does leave your floors almost bone dry with these two squeegees. Now, I am going to show you all the functions in use, uh, floor washing, carpet washing, dry and the upholstery washing. What I will say about this nozzle is it's quite, these brushes are very, very stiff. So I'm going to demonstrate it on linoleum um, vinyl floor and you don't really need to press hard for vinyl with this. I will just go over it gently, spray the solution on it and then remove it. But if you've got quarry tiles or ceramic tiles, something that you can't really clean that needs a good scrubbing, then this nozzle is ideal because, because of the three rows of very stiff brushes, you can really agitate the cleaning solution into the floor. You can even leave it to sort of soak for a, for a while. And then, before it's dry of course, you come over and you remove all the dirty solution. And this is probably one of the best ways currently to clean, better than steam cleaners, better than the likes of the Vax Floor Mate, which is good for many surfaces, but if you've got really stubborn dirt, say you live on a farmhouse and you've got an old fashioned quarry floor, this will really help out. It takes quite a bit to set up and use, but the results will be worth it. The water will be black when using this. So that's basically described the five functions of the pneumatic George. I'll take you a bit closer, show you each individual piece, and then I'll get on to the demonstration. Okay, so here we have George himself with the famous smile that uh, many pneumatic cleaners have. But it differs from the Henry in the fact it's slightly bigger. The actual tub is bigger. It also doesn't have Henry's cord rewind feature. Instead it has a fixed handle on the top here for lifting the machine. It's also obviously heavier than the Henry. And the switch arrangement is different at the back. You've got two switches. They've both got this rubbery coating on. This is to prevent any moisture getting into the switch if you have wet hands when you're switching the machine on. This switch controls the pump. It's a separate machine and there's a, 
separate pump inside and that symbolizes water spraying out of the nozzle to symbolize that's for the pump. This shows a nozzle with arrows going towards it which symbolizes the suction motor. So for wet pickup and dry use you only need to turn on the suction motor and of course when you're using the machine for floor washing or carpet or upholstery washing you need to activate the pump as well. Because George doesn't have any built-in cord storage there's a hook here provided that you can just coil the, the cord up and just put it on the side there or you can if you like just wrap the cord round the hat of the machine and secure it that way that's whichever way you want to do. It has a, a long cord I think it's 10 meters but it's certainly a long cord so you should have no problem reaching where you need to clean with this length of cord. I'll just show you the wattage it's a 1200 max motor and it has a two bar pressure pump for the solution. Also on the back you've got two large wheels and then at the front there's two sturdy swivel casters. So it is a fairly stable machine. It shouldn't really topple over when you're using it. Here at the front this is the little connection where you connect the solution tube to when you're using the machine in shampoo or floor washing mode. That's more or less everything to show you on the top of the machine. Again similar to Henry you've got two latches either side of the top to release and underneath this is where the main motor is housed you've got the motor there and also you have this little siphon tube which you put into the solution tank when you're using the machine for carpet or floor washing. And we've got a large bucket and also there's a handy metal carry handle built into it which is useful because when this bucket's full of water it's quite heavy so it's useful when you, you're pouring it out, taking it to the sink or toilet or the outside drain you can carry it like this and then you just basically can tip the machine out to empty it. To use for dry use you need a bag and you get supplied, you get at least two bags, I haven't, haven't had this long and I think I've used one bag, you used to get a lot more than that but it's two or three bags you get and they are very large, these are the newer pneumatic HepaFlow fabric bags, they've got a good seal here to keep them, keep the dust in and there's a little cover there for when you empty it you close it over to stop dirt coming out and basically the bag just pushes on to the tube here just push it on until it's pushed right to the edge there we are it's clipped in place there so now the bags in place for dry use and also for dry use you need to attach this filter again this is a very similar filter to the one supplied with the Henry. That just fits on the top there and also the filter has this seal all the way around so when you put the motor unit back it forms a good suction seal for the machine. So that goes on the top there and when that's in place you just give each side piece a whack. Again it's a bit difficult single-handed but there we are they're both in there. It's, it's made really, it comes from a company that make industrial and commercial vacuums so it is built to the same standard so it will take quite a lot of abuse will George but why you'd want to abuse such a cute little thing I don't know but anyway George should be able to take it. Now you get a regular hose for dry use. This is a slightly different fitting with the Henry cleaners it screws on, as you can see this still has a screw thread, but with the George you get a different type of fitting, it's more of a bayonet fitting. There's a, a rubber seal here and you just push it and twist, that locks securely in place and the rubber seal here keeps the suction in. You get the same end that you get with Henry cleaners and really basically the same tool setup. you get the curved chrome handle which also includes the suction inlet there for reducing the suction. You get two 
extension tubes. The carpets and hard floors, you get this carpet and hard floor nozzle. So it's got the fibre linked pickers either side of the suction inlet for cleaning the carpets, side suction channels either side. And when you're cleaning hard floors, you simply move this lever here, normally with your foot. And as you can see, the brushes are now engaged for your hard floor cleaning. Small tools you get, exactly the same as Henry. You get quite a nice horsehair dusting brush, quite a soft dusting brush. You get the standard crevice tool. You get your upholstery nozzle for cleaning your upholstery and your stairs and your curtains you could clean with that. And that nozzle also comes with this slide on brush fitting. And then you also get this little attachment that just enables you to connect the small tools directly to the hose end. So you put this in like that and then say you could put this nozzle on there like that. So you've now got a smaller, more compact device which is better for cleaning areas like inside your car or confined spaces where it, where it would be a little bit awkward to clean with the handle attached. So that's everything for dry use. So basically George, you use George just like you would use a dry vacuum cleaner. It has a bag um, and that's about it to show you for that. Now for setting up for wet use you do have to make a few adjustments and they mainly involve taking the bag out. So I'll first remove George's hose it's a really a push and twist action. Take off the motor unit, take off the dry filter and take out the bag. So what you need to put inside the tank now instead of the filter and dust bag is this unit here which is a float valve. Inside there there's a little ball that raises up as the tank fills with water and when the tank is full the ball would block the suction inlet there and obviously the suction will stop the motor will change pitch it'll be a higher pitch and it'll be time now to empty out the dirty water so for wet pickup only and not shampooing all you'd need to do is place this onto the tank there pop the suction unit motor unit back on and then you can now pick up liquids. You can use the dry hose if you want to, as long as you make sure it's dried out before you use it for dry cleaning, otherwise it'll get caked in muck on the inside. You can submerge that in water and give it a good clean if you need to. So that's for wet pickup. Now when you come to either washing carpets or floors, you need to add this solution tank. So again, it's quite a nice large size. You've got a carry handle. So you can take this to your sink, fill it up with hot water and your cleaning solution through this hole here. And then there is a certain way it goes in. I've, I've put it in the right way straight away, but if you put it in the wrong way, well, you can't. There's only one way it will let you put it in, and that's with this cut out to the front where the hose inlet is and it just rests in there like that. So assuming that's full of your solution, all you need to do now is pop the float valve back on and you can see there's a cutout here that corresponds with the solution inlet for where you fill it. So you just need to make sure that fits over there like that. And then also while you're putting the the motor unit back on, you have to make sure that that siphon tube actually goes inside there so it can actually feed the solution up through the tube and to the cleaning nozzle. So now I'll just move these out of the way and show you the solution hose. This is a very good long hose. I think it's two and a half meters. It's certainly a lot longer than the suction only hose. 
This is ideal for cleaning out your car because this length of hose you should be able to reach most of the areas of your car with this. It won't actually reach up a full flight of stairs, I'll show you how far it does reach up the stairs but it reaches up further than any other carpet shampoo I've used. You can buy an optional 3 metre hose which is ideal if you've got a valeting business and you're cleaning larger cars or caravans a 3 metre hose will give you more, more reach. It will also clean right up the stairs too so if that's important for you it's not too expensive you can go on Pneumatic's website there's plenty of other commercial cleaning companies that you can get the longer hose from even eBay you can get it from. So this is the hose it's slightly different to the dry hose because it comes with this additional hose which is fitted on the external part. Older models had the solution tube on the inside but for some reason Pneumatic changed it and it now fits on the outside but it is secured all the way along you don't have to clip it manually. So you just place again fit the hose exactly the same way as the dry hose and then you take the end of the solution tube here and it just plugs into here. This might be tricky with one hand but you plug it in until it clicks and that's clicked there so that is now securely in place. To release it you need to push that collar back and then it pops out. And let's pop it back in again. So that's clicked in place. So now when you're using the pump the cleaning solution is actually pumped through the small hose and it will eventually get to the end there. So for cleaning, I'll just show you how you would clean upholstery and stairs first. You connect this nozzle directly to the hose end. So you just push it on like that. So you've got it like that. And then all you need to do now is actually connect the shampoo tube to this. It's all very industrial feeling, metal fittings, very sturdy. Push that in, here a click, that's not going anywhere until you release that collar. Pull the collar and then it will come off. So now you've got the handheld unit with this trigger here so you turn the machine on and the pump on and then you squeeze the trigger to release the solution. The first time you use it it'll take a few seconds for all the solution to pump to the nozzle and then you'll see the solution spraying out of that brass jet there. So then you can use it in your car and the stairs by pulling back the trigger and sucking up the dirty solution. So that's the small head. I'll just take that off now and show you the other tool which is for carpet cleaning. For carpet cleaning you get this nozzle here. It's got metal strips on the bottom to make it easier to move over your carpets. So basically you'd connect your hose and tubes together. Let me just unscrew that. It comes, there's a little screw here which you need to loosen if it isn't loose already. And then you push the tube firmly in and then you just gently tighten up this screw and it holds the tube onto the nozzle. Then you just connect the other tube to here and then this metal handle goes onto the hose end here. Let's try and do that for you. Might as well connect it all up while I'm at it. I think I might have made an error. Oh no, it might be okay. Let's have a check. It's just a push fitting. You need to push and twist until it's secure. And then again, connect the two tubes together. And let's put that there. It's easier obviously when you're not trying to film what you're doing. So now I've got the curved handle connected to both tubes. I've got my spray nozzle on the end and then all I need to do now is connect this piece which is the jet that you use for your carpet shampooing and your floor washing. 
and you'll see that there's a slight difference with these tubes. You have this little piece here. This is where you slide on that. Now, what I've done wrongly, I had a feeling I was doing something wrong. I need to put that on first, so let's take the nozzle off and slide, slide this on so it's front to back. Push it right up until you can't feel any more resistance and then that slides on. You can see there's a little cut out to make sure you get it in the right way. Let's turn that right round. I'm trying to push it. Oh, yeah. It's times like this I could do with someone holding the camera for me. But anyway, that does push in when you've got two hands free to do it into there and then you've got next thing to do is take your trigger here and there's another one of these bracket things and you just pull it, it's quite stretchy this solution tube so you just need to pull it and then connect it back to front on the tube, let me just do this there we go, so now I've got this piece Need to pull it and then get it over there. That's it, now it's in place. So that will be quite tight. So now we've got the handle here, the trigger handle connected to the metal tube. And then again, you connect the solution tube to here till it's clicked. That's firmly in place. So now you're ready to use the machine as a carpet shampooer. So you squeeze that trigger to release the solution and it sprays it behind the nozzle. So basically you'd move the machine slowly. As you're spraying, it's loosening the dirt and then the dirty water is being picked up using the spray nozzle. The only change when you're using it for floor washing, apart from changing the solution in the tank to a hard floor cleaner, you just take off this fishtail, I think, yes, I believe they call it fishtail nozzle. And again, I'm trying to do it with one hand because I'm trying to hold a camera. I'm going to have to put the camera down for this. There we go. And then while I'm here, I'll put on the hard floor nozzle. So now I've attached the hard floor nozzle. So for hard floors, You would just squeeze the trigger, the cleaning solution comes out the back and is sprayed behind the scrubbing brushes. You would agitate the solution into the area. Once that's been done, you flip the nozzle and use the squeegee brushes, uh, sorry, the squeegees to remove the water. That's about it, showing you everything you get in the box. Of course, you do get these instructions here. There are different versions of George. The one I'm showing you is the most widely available version and it, you can, it starts at around £200 you can pick this up. You might, if you shop around, you might be able to get it for a bit less. There are other versions available. You can get a version from some cleaning companies. If you don't need the dry use, you only want to use George for wet pickup, you can get George in a blue colour and it just comes with the wet cleaning kit and it saves you a few pounds. I think you can get some stores had that for about £160. So it saves you money. If you're never going to use it for dry use, then why pay for the extra tools? But you can, if you need them in future, buy them separately. Here's instructions. It's very similar to all pneumatic instructions. It's more pictures, really. So it's just basically showing you. You do get this cleaning solution with it. I've got some of that left. But you can use any low foaming shampoo suitable for machine use but you do get one bottle of the pneumatic new chem cleaning solution and so basically it's showing you in very simple ways in picture form how you use all the various functions for George and that's about it and at the back you've got all your spare parts you can easily obtain 
Spare parts for pneumatic machines are plentiful and fairly cheap, but the pneumatics are well made. You know, they're made in Britain, probably the last vacuum cleaner manufacturer to manufacture in Britain, and they're sturdy machines. Anyway, I've shown you everything you get with pneumatic George, shown you how to put it together. Now we'll start off in the kitchen and we'll show how George can clean your kitchen floors. Okay, so I've brought George downstairs into the kitchen and I'll show you how we can clean kitchen floors using George. So the first thing I need to do is remove the motor unit. And take out the clean solution tank. And I'm going to fill that in the sink. It fits in the sink, you don't have to hold it. Try and get the tap over the hole and start filling that with hot, but not too hot water. Now, I'm going to use this new flash concentrated all-purpose cleaner. This one smells of New Zealand Springs. I've never been to New Zealand, but at least I know what New Zealand smells like now. It smells like this. So I'm using this. I've used this liquid gel in my Vax floor mate and it doesn't foam up too much, so it should be suitable for using in the George. So, let's just see what the concentration is. Well, it's one dose for five litres. I think this is at least five litres, so I'll just give it one dose. And with this flash, apparently, we're supposed to, oh, it's, it's hissing. Well, that's not. <laughs> it's my tap. Anyway, you're supposed to squeeze it, and it should give you one dose for five litres, and it should stop automatically. It says so on the ads, so let's go. And it has, I'm squeezing, and it stops. So that's giving me the dose I need of flash. So we're still filling up with the water. Let's just turn it up a bit, add a bit more cold. I don't want it too hot. And we'll fill it up to the top. Because of the greater capacity, you can clean much larger areas of floors with George before you need to empty or refill. So that is more or less full. Just going to just swirl it around, try not to spill it too much, just to get the solution. Ooh. <laughs> I've spilt it, but that's not going to matter. So then we put the tank in, making sure it's seated firmly. That's it. And then back goes the float unit, and then the motor unit, making sure, of course, that we get the solution tube into the clean water. And then I'll just give this a bit of a knee with my knees. That's one. Let's see if I can do this one with my hand. There we go. So that's firmly in place. So now I need to connect the tube here. And we're all ready to go. We've already got the hard floor nozzle put onto the end of the tube. So we've got the solution jet there. And we've got the trigger connected as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn the pump on. It is noisy when you first turn it on. Squeeze the trigger. So it takes a while for it to come through. Okay, so now the pump has pumped the solution right to the end. So it's just a case of squeezing the trigger and agitating the solution into the floor. First of all, I need to flip the head again. So now I'm using the brush side to agitate the solution that's going to come out of that jet. And I'm giving it a good scrub. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to flip the nozzle over, turn on the suction motor and remove all the dirty solution.
Right, I've now finished cleaning the kitchen floor and it's dried and it's lovely and clean and smelling of New Zealand springs. There's also enough solution in George to do my bathroom and ensuite as well and I've done that but I haven't filmed that because I think the demo of the kitchen floor is enough. So now George is full, his belly saying empty me so that's what I'm going to do. Remove the motor unit, remove the filter and float and the water isn't dirty and I didn't expect it to be black because the floor has been cleaned recently with a Vax floor mate but as I say if this machine is ideal if you've got slate quarry tiles or textured tiles that are really difficult to clean. A good scrubbing with the George should produce much much darker water than I've got here but what there will be you can just see as I tip it this is the gritty stuff some of that was left from the last time I used it because I live in a new build and there's building still going on there seems to be a lot of grit in the air that finds its way to my carpets and floors but it's not on my floor at the moment my floor is lovely and squeaky clean and dry. It took a little bit longer to dry than I'm used to. My floor mate does dry the floor quicker but then I did put a lot more solution down onto this floor. So all I need to do is tip this away and then I'll set up George and show you how to use the hand tool for cleaning your upholstery and stairs. Well now I've got George at the bottom of the stairs to show you how to clean stairs using the upholstery spray nozzle and just to see the length of the hose to give you an idea it's actually 2.9 meters in length and it will comfortably clean 10 stairs 10 steps on a standard flight of stairs I've got the nozzle there on the 10th step it may clean the 11th but it's a bit of a push it's a bit of a stretch so you can comfortably clean 10 stairs using the 2.9 meter hose supplied. I've just been on eBay to check the availability of other hoses. You can actually obtain a genuine pneumatic 4 meter clean tech hose that fits a George for around £50 delivered. So a 4 meter hose would easily reach up the top of a standard flight of stairs and of course a longer hose would be more useful if, for cleaning caravans and larger cars or utility vehicles or RVs, recreational vehicles as you have in America. So I'll just give you a quick demo of the small nozzle and then to finish the video I'll demonstrate the fishtail nozzle on a um, doormat. I'll put some extra muck down on there and show you it cleaning that up and then we'll finish the video by summing up. So I've set the the George up just like I did for the floor washing but instead of the floor solution I've put carpet cleaning solution. You can use Pneumatic's own or well, it's not widely available so you can actually use Bissell or Vax solution or any low foam carpet cleaning shampoo that's meant for carpet washers. So I've got the Vax Ultra Plus solution in this one. So just like the other method where you clean the floors we're going to turn on actually both the pump which is that button and the suction together and I'll just demonstrate cleaning a stair for you Right, to conclude my demo, I've uh, done what they do on the home shopping channels. I've thrown some muck down on this doormat. Now it's a doormat, so it'll probably have quite a bit of dirt in it anyway. But to give you something a bit more visual to look at, I've uh, thrown a few bits down. Now on here, in the middle, we've got a bit of milk. And there's some mayonnaise, 
some jam and a bit of tomato ketchup and that's been on there for several minutes anyway the milk's been on there for at least 10 minutes uh, milk and ketchup and I've just put down the jam in the middle so we're going to see if the pneumatic George can pick this up so what I'm going to do I'm just going to start the nozzle at the front here and pull it back while squeezing the trigger here to release the shampoo and the solution will actually come out behind the nozzle I'm going to show you there there's that little brass jet and the solution will come out of that so I don't expect it to do to pick everything up in one go it'll probably take a few goes but hopefully this all should come off otherwise I'm going to have to get a new doormat let's hope it doesn't come to that so here goes I'll turn the pump on and the suction motor on as well Well, as you can see, on the first go, it's not picked up. Well, it's picked up a bit, but it's not. Obviously, it's left a lot. So it's going to be a question of a few back and forth movements, I think, and putting a bit more shampoo onto the lug. But what I think I'll do first, and this, is, this would apply if you've got any heavy staining, you can pre-treat. So now I've just got the pump on. So I'm just going to spray the solution over the stain. Give it a good soaking. Just agitate it in a bit. Now I'm happy to really soak this because this is a, a rubber backed entrance mat. You would not put this much water down if it's your main carpet. If you have a, a really stubborn stain it's best to just lightly spray over maybe a couple of times but don't over, over wet the carpet like I've done here and then leave it 10 minutes or so and then try again. It's always best actually if on the first attempt instead of keep going, you know, trying to get it out and, and keep wetting the carpet, leave it to dry and then attempt it again. Some stains won't come out, but with pre-treating, you'll get many of the stains out. Already I can see, just by moving the nozzle back and forth, that that stain has more or less dissolved. So now I need to go over with the suction only to remove all this dirty solution. has managed, fortunately, to clean all that mess that I put down on that entrance mat and it will have removed all the regular muck that is brought in on the soles of your feet or your shoes in fact. Um, so it's obviously it's dry now, 
well, it's touch dry, won't take too long for that to dry. The pile has been restored and if I give it the nose test, which I will just get down here and have a sniff, that's lovely. It just smells, smells clean, it smells of the cleaning solution. There's no odour of ketchup or mayonnaise or milk or uh, jam on there, it's all clean. I will say it is harder work than using an upright carpet washer with a revolving brush. They tend to clean better because of the extra agitation that the upright carpet washers provide. But if you're looking for an all-in-one solution, if you need a machine that functions as both a wet and dry vac and a carpet shampooer, I think George is probably the best one to go for. You can obviously buy the most similar model to the George would be the Vax 3-in-1, the orange tub that Vax sell. You can pick that up for around £100 in many places. But that is made in China and it's, it's certainly not as well made. The George is designed to be used in a commercial environment so if it can withstand commercial environments being knocked about and abused then it should be fine in any domestic situation. So here we have George, an all-in-one, five-in-one vacuum cleaner. As you see, it shampoos carpets. I've demonstrated it shampooing stairs. It will also clean your upholstery, your car interiors. It will wash and dry your hard floors. And with all the extra cleaning tools you get, the dry hose and all the other tools, George can be used for cleaning up dry, um, just, just like a normal Henry could, although it is heavier bulkier and noisier than a Henry and not quite as convenient. If you've got the space and you can have George as well as your regular cleaner that's probably the best bet. Keep George for occasional use or if you have a, an accidental spillage or if your kitchen floods keep George on hand and use a regular upright or cylinder for your you know day-to-day -day use. And to save a bit of money if you only need the wet clean facility it is possible to buy George without the dry cleaning tools so you can save yourself about £40 there and just use George for your wet cleaning jobs. So that's it, that's my demonstration of the pneumatic George. Like I say, I'd recommend it. It's a robust, reliable, heavy duty machine. It's quite heavy, uh, it's a little bit noisy, not too noisy. Um, and it's, it is a bit hard work to use on occasions but I'd still go for it. Compared to a Vax, although it does cost more than getting a similar Vax, this will clean better and will last a lot longer in my opinion. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more demonstrations on other floor care appliances and I'll be back very soon with something else for you to watch. See you soon then and goodbye.